Hello and welcome to the Spatial Structures Movers and Shakers interview series hosted by the University of Surrey's Spatial Structures Research Centre. My name is Mark Richardson and today I'm joined by Yosul Goni, who is a Structural Engineer and Research and Development Director at LANIC. LANIC was founded in 1977 and is based in San Sebastian in the northern part of Spain. LANIC offers turnkey solutions for coverings, facades and retractable roof structures across design, manufacture and assembly. Structural systems produced and engineered by the organisation include single layer structures, space frames, retractable roofs and glulam structures. Today, part of LANIC's strategy is also to design and construct more complex projects pertaining to steel and glass. LANIC is comprised of about 60 professionals and Yosu has worked for the organization for 16 years. Yosu, thanks very much for taking the time to join us today. Thank you, Mark. It's a pleasure. Hi, it's a pleasure to have you on the Movers and Shakers uh, interview series. Um, so so we, be we begin um, by, by talking to guests um, generally about their, their experience, but you're obviously joining us today um, with, uh, with your LANIC hat on, I suppose. So maybe you could um, give us a, a, a a bit more of um, an overview of the organization. Yeah, LANIC is a company uh, in the north of Spain. <clears throat> we are an engineering mainly, and we have been uh, working for 40 years in many projects all over the world, doing mainly space frames and uh, bridges. The main EDN of LANIC is that we uh, have uh, a lot of um, well, we, we like very much uh, challenges and uh, we have been uh, improving our skills uh, in the time, making projects uh, even more complex than, than the ones before. So uh, this is something that has uh, left us in a good position now and we are working projects all over the world that has quite a big singularity. Fantastic. Thank you. So that's that's uh, very interesting. It seems like the the company is involved in a lot of uh, very interesting projects. Um, with that in mind, actually, could you give us a, a flavor of something that uh, that LANIC is working on uh, currently or, or has been working on recently? Yeah, we have just finished the expansion of the Hamad Airport in Doha. Uh, very beautiful bridge uh, with some panels and so on. And now we are doing the uh, Red Sea Airport. Uh, that is something also a very uh, tricky project with many complex issues to to solve. Uh, it's a space pro uh, project that uh, well, uh, is quite uh, advanced in terms of engineering. And there are some other projects all over the world we are working on. We have always many many projects in our in our. Uh, uh, in our team of uh, of engineers. Excellent. That that, that, that all sounds uh, sounds very good. And um, in terms of Lanik's sort of long term outlook and, and philosophy, what are the what are the goals and aims of, of the company in the future? Yeah, Lanik is a company uh, who has uh, many very uh, high skilled engineers and workers, and we have uh, the intention and the strategy to make profit of this uh, experience and knowledge uh, and try to go into more complex projects with uh, higher value maybe, uh, related maybe with the steel and glass and so on, but, but uh, without losing the huge experience we have in terms of industrialization, automatization of processes and so on. So this combination of uh, high skills in engineering of structures with this uh, automatized process uh, knowledge uh is something we think it's going to it can can be something we can we can explore and we can make profit of very good well well thank you very much for that Yosu. We're, we'll now move to the um to the middle section of our interview which is entitled your space your structure um so i will hand over the presentation to to Yosu, who will be uh presenting um for a short period of time on um spatial structures um pertaining to the work of lanik so um with uh without further ado over to you Yosu. Thanks. So as I was saying, um, LANIC uh, is a company that makes projects. Uh, we are located in uh, Spain, in the north of Spain, in San Sebastian. 
1977. So we have a, a company that has made uh, quite a big uh, amount of projects. You see there, 1080 approximately, and we work all over the world. Uh, our projects uh, are Turkey solutions, Turkey architectural envelopes from the very beginning of the design. Uh, and we have also our own uh, shop uh, um, workshop uh, where we manufacture our structures and we also make the assembly of the project. So let's say that we uh, offer the whole complete package of one structure from the beginning to the end. We are specialized in some kind of uh, bolted structures. Uh, the main core of Lanik in his history has been the space frame structures. And I will show you some example of projects we have done. But before, I would like to explain to you that we have our own system for space frames. Uh, it's called ORT, and we have been working with it since the 90s. Uh, it's a system that is unique and has very good performance. We have been involved in projects all over the world, as I said, and this case, for example, is the Mexico airport. We made the engineering of the project, uh, but well, the project uh, didn't go, go ahead, unfortunately, and but well, was a very important, interesting uh, project to take part of. Uh, other airports in the world, this is, for example, in Galencic, uh, it's a very recent airport made by a space frame. We also make some more industrial projects. You know, a space frame is very uh, competitive and a good solution where you have big spans uh, to be covered. Also some hangars all over the world. These are some examples. Some uh, special projects all over the world, you know, like the, sp the space frame structure is very easy to ship. Uh, so it's a good option where you have, uh, well, not very easy uh, places to work on. Like for example, this in the Antarctica. And we also have done many arenas uh, for sports. Uh, and well, the stadiums recently, for example, this is uh, the Arena. We made a facade. Some stadiums in Brazil, like this one in Natal, or this one in Pernambuco. Uh, well, some examples of space frames you have been done during all those years. Uh, in the 2006, we started to uh, get inside the Richel world and we developed our own system based on the previous uh, sold uh, OT system. This is called SLO. And this is very, this is, has also a very good performance. It's very easy to assemble. Um, and we have been done projects with this since the 2006. I will show you some of them. Uh, before showing them, we have other systems. The CSL is well; it's a covered system, and his uh, timber housing, let's say, the TSL, uh, it, it allows us to make uh, grid cells with timber, uh, completely free for grid cells with timber. Uh, this is something that we like a lot because of sustainability, because of warmless, well, warming, and well, because uh, it has a, a lot of sense. <laughs> And some examples of uh, riches we have been done in those years. These are commercial centers all over the world. Um, this is in Chile, for example. This was in Spain. This was our first project in, in Ireland. Uh, this is one of our recent uh, projects, the, the size and and complexity of the players have been increasing during the years. And this is a one an example I like very much. This is a, a grid shell made by timber. Um, even if the shape is not very complex, uh, it is an example of a real free form uh, grid shell working as a compression uh, shell. Um, and it could be much more complex if needed, but well, it was not the case. This is our last grid shell in Doha. I will explain this project in Melbourne in the ESS uh, um, 
symposium. And I will talk to you also about a special kind of uh, structures we do. We make uh, since the two, uh, year 2000, um, rolling traction um, um, retractable roofs. We can engineer the mechanisms and everything to create this kind of uh, transformable arenas like this football stadium, for example, in Brazil, and many arenas we have been done, uh, mainly in Spain during these years. The best and most complex example of this is uh, this Domo in, in Russia. Uh, it, as you see in the image, it gets uh, partially open, half of it, of it, and it's quite tricky because it, it uh, combines the space frame with a single layer structure working as a witcher and also with the movement, with the rotation movement that, well, this project was very, very interesting. I will also explain this in, in Melbourne. And finally, in my presentation, as something I can, I can say, I, I, I think it can be something interesting for the community of the space frame and uh, witcher uh, investigation and and well, uh, for our li uh, listeners, uh, is the system we use for making the engineering of the projects. One of our core in LANI is uh, the tool we use, the tools and the tool mainly use, we use for making the uh, design and uh, engineering of the whole process of the, of the projects. This is a self-made software based on some commercial softwares, as you said there, being now sophistic and, and some others. And uh, I will show you some slides to understand a little bit how it works. So we start with a, with a model of Rhinon Theros, uh, just with lines, and this plugin that is based on some databases and microservices and so on, uh, it, it's capable to uh, turn it into a calculation model, first of all, with all the characteristics of the calculation model, fixations, loads, and so on. Uh, we have a special toolbar and many, many uh, tools related with the space frames, for example, to change dimensionings, to generate normal vectors, to generate the loads and everything you, you, you may need in a project. And then uh, this software can directly, let's say, speak with Sophisti and launch automatically calculations in Sophistic. After making the automatic dimensionings and so on, uh, with, uh, with the engine of Sophistic, the same software uh, is capable to automatically generate all the uh, geometrical solutions for the connections and also to uh, as an output, generate all the information for the manufacturing and fabrication we do in our self, uh, in our own uh, factory. The same we can do for space frame. We can do also for bridge structures. As as and as we are working in Rhino Theros, we can make profit of all the powers of Grasshopper, Kangaroo, and all these kind of tools to make the uh, design. And afterwards, we can launch directly from our Goose software, uh, Sophistic, to make calculations, also global backing calculations, dynamic calculations, and whatever we need um, to dimension the structure completely automatically. Let's say, let's uh, clear, clarify that the software itself is able to assign to each member the exact size uh, section the bolts uh, needed. And of course, the, the same software is capable to solve all the connections, create the um, geometries of all the nodes, and then turn these geometries into parameters to, uh, to send to the machines, to CNC machines, and fabricate both the bars and the nodes. So thank you very much. And this is everything from my side. Um, Thank you, Mark. 
Yasu, thanks very much for taking us through your space, your structure presentation. Um, we covered a lot of things there, but um, some fantastic examples of space frame structures, single layer structures and retractable roofs. Uh, and really interesting to see the work Lanik has done in uh, developing your own systems. You, you gave us uh, some great examples of the ORT system, uh, the SLO system and your, your rolling traction system. Um, so, yeah, really fascinating and uh, a lot covered in a very short space of time. So, so thank you very much for that. Thank um, you to you, Mark. Uh, no problem. Um, well, let's move to our, uh, our final section of questions, uh, which uh, is looking towards sustainability. Um, so how does LANIC uh, deal with the question of sustainability and uh, within spatial structure projects? And, and how do you think sustainability can improve um, within, our, within our community and its outputs? Well, uh... We work with uh, space frames since a uh, lot of time, and, and space frames in general has been known as a very uh, light uh, structural uh, element in comparison with metallic structures. This is something we know since a lot of time, and uh, for a long time, the competition between both of them was in terms of price. In terms of price, the space frame can be uh, more expensive than the metallic structure per kilogram per uh, euro per kilogram, let's say, but we generally low down a lot, the amount of steel. So in, in, at the end of the day, yeah. But uh, nowadays the uh, carbon footprint is something that uh, is also a driver of decision of, of the project and the election of the kind of structure. We have found that uh, space frame can be a, a very good uh, option in comparison, for example, with a conventional metallic structure, because the efficiency of use of steel is much higher. So you are using much more, um, much less amount of, of waste steel, let's say, in the structure. And in this, in this way, we have developed a footprint calculator, let's say. We, for every project with goose, we can automatically extract the exact uh, footprint uh, of the project, because as we have our own uh, facilities and our own um, manufacturing plant, we can exactly know the, not exactly, but very, very uh, accurately uh, know the amount of carbon we are uh, creating at each project. So it's something we give to the uh, client with every offer now, uh, the client to know the price and also the carbon footprint we can generate with this uh, project. It's an information that allows to the client to make decisions, and we think it's very interesting for them. Absolutely, thanks, that Yosu. Very interesting to hear about your your carbon calculator and and how that is applied to to commercial projects. So, uh, thanks for that. Final question um, from 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 uh, from the interview, uh, and this is with a view to being uh, interviewing Lanik as a, as a commercial organisation and, and a successful one. As that, what, what advice would you give to to architects or engineers who are looking to perhaps start their own business in the future? Um, I will, I will, I advise to work always in teams with very good people. Um, and I will advise to, to be very, uh, how could I say, uh, not to, co to conform if they feel that they are not in the right place. Um, because, um, just working in a good atmosphere with uh, people that is uh, competent, uh, you can find uh, an increase in your in your skills and also um, good atmospheres in, in, in when working uh, leads to better people to want to work in that team. I don't know if I explain myself, but uh, the the very best uh, companies are the the companies that. Um, have the uh, conscience that the people is the most important thing they have. So uh, this is something you you have to look for. And if it's not like that, just change. Makes sense, Yusu. You know, absolutely. And um, yeah, com completely agree with you. People are the are the, the heart and center of any of any business. And uh, good to hear you reiterating that in a, in a spatial structures context as well. Um, well, we, we've actually reached the end of our, of our interview today, Yusu, but um, thank you very much for taking us through your presentation and for giving us um, 
an insight and overview to LANIC. Um, we also look forward to hearing um, and, uh, and indeed seeing your, your presentations that you alluded to at the, uh, at the ISS Symposium um, in, in Australia later in the year. Um, for those that have enjoyed this video or indeed any of the Movers and Shakers interview series, please do remember to like, share and comment. All of your views and thoughts are welcome. And do follow the Spatial Structures Centre on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Billy Billy. Details of our social channels can be found in the description section below. Um, well, that, that just leaves me once more to say uh, a very big thank you to Yosu for, for joining us today. And um, hopefully we will get the opportunity to, to speak to you again at some point in the future on the Movers and Shakers interview series. But uh, for now, thank you very much, Yosu. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, everybody. No problem. Speak to you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>